Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall and this is a Shaw Mendeley Masterclass. I'm going to show you how to use the Mendeley Web Importer. The Web Importer allows you to save multiple references from um, a multiple uh, number of sites including uh, Amazon Book Search, um, uh, Google Scholar, The Lancet, Ovid and many others. So um, it's useful for when you're collecting more than one reference and you do this by installing it to your web browser. So if you're using Chrome, you follow the instructions here, Firefox here and then Safari, Safari or Internet Explorer, you do a drag and drop uh, to your bookmarks. And then what you'll find is if you're using Chrome, you'll have a little kind of bookmark here that appears saved to Mendeley on my toolbar. And I've also got the uh, Chrome extension as well. So once I've got those installed, and I can get those by uh, going to the install web importer at the bottom of the web page, and I can also go into the Mendeley desktop and go to tools and also click install uh, web importer from there. Once I've done that, I can go in to uh, such as Google Scholar and I can do a search. So if I just do a search for Elf Health Informatics, like so. Now it's useful to go into the settings and if you can change the number of search results that you'll get on a page because it will only give you uh, the results based on the page that you've got at present. And so I'll do a search, it's a very crude and basic search but I've got 10 references here. And if I think there's a couple that I want, I go and click my uh, import to Mendeley button and providing there's no pop-up blockers stopping this from happening, you'll see that a, a new uh, window has appeared here with the same 10 references I've got here uh, on my Google Scholar page. So I then go through the collection of references um, and select any that I want. So I'm going to go and select these four and then I click Save. So once that's done I can click my web library it'll bring my web library up and I can see that there's four references have appeared here at the top all at uh, one minute past six and these are the four that I've just saved so they've gone in I can click on any and I can see what the data is according to them on the right hand pane like so and um, if I need to change any, I can go and click the edit button. So you have to take note that not everything may have come through, not all the data. Uh, a lot of these references don't have the metadata in them. So there may be issue numbers, page numbers missing. There may be some authors missing. The journal may be abbreviated. If I go into my desktop and hit my sync button, which brings it in line with my web version, I will then see when it's finished syncing I will then see if I go to most recently added the four references appear in my desktop library and I can go in again and see that these are not fully fully correct so I can go in and amend them as I see fit quite often the problem is that the data on the uh, citations and the references in, in uh, Google Scholar or elsewhere may not be fully complete so you don't take them as being read all the time I've also got the option here to click and download the PDF through uh, access that I've got via the University of Sheffield or via open access repositories wherever they may be hosted so I can change all this uh, accordingly I can do all my tagging which is quite important for, for me to be able to find the references after but you can see how the web importer works it's nice and simple it's a good way to bring in several references at a time but you still may need to manually update and change them